How's it going guys? My name is Top Secret R35 and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. So in today's little video we're going to be modifying the Lexus RCF also known as the Emperor Vector the latest drip feed car that just got added to the game. In other news, I am super proud of myself. We are about to max out this auto shop garage. I've got one spot left and that's left for the Lexus RCF. So if you guys want to check out the rest of my content over here on all these cars, be sure to check out the playlist. So I believe it's under legendary motorsport. Yep, there it is. Emperor Vector, 1.7 million. Oh goodness, man. They really made these cars expensive. Thank the Lord for Mr. Al Rubio funding all my purchases purchases. Where on earth would I be without Cayo Perico? Probably another power supply broken as I as I let my nightclub run overnight. So shout out to my discord especially Lil Terminator. If you guys haven't joined my Discord yet, I'll leave a link in the description, go join it. But anyway, my homie let me know that this car handles exceptionally well. So I'm pretty damn excited to give it a lap around the test track. So while we wait for this car, this is a really confusing car for me, you know? If I had $65,000 to spend, I don't think I would jump at the Lexus RCF. If you look at the reviews on the internet, they say that you're better off buying a Camaro SS, even if you buy the Fuji Special Edition, it still doesn't give you enough before performance for the money. Now it's funny me saying that because trust me Lexus is not losing a customer here. I do not have $65,000 to spend anyway. <laughs> But yeah, to sum it up, they say that you're much better off buying an Audi RS5, a Mercedes AMG C63, maybe a BMW M3, a BMW M4. Lots of choices for this price point for a performance car. Now I'm sure that people are just being hardcore on it because there are other cars to compare it to. But flip, if I were to drive this car right now, 472 horsepower, 5 liter V8. I mean, even with the, they say that the suspension is not really comparable, but damn, I'm sure I would love it. Boom, the RCF or the Emperor Vector has arrived, guys. Yes, she is. Now, I did hear that there's quite a bit of uh, Toyota GT86 possibly sprinkled in over here. You can kind of see it, maybe a bit in the headlights there. Who knows? So, as you all know, I need that car level rep. So, I'm going to actually drive this over to the Alice car meet and we're going to modify it over there. Let's get going. So, standard, we got the carbon fiber roof already. This thing looks like it's lowered as well. Oh, okay. Yep. We have the stance on lowered already. So, I need to drive this thing. So, let's put it up again. Let's listen to it quickly. Shh. Kind of sounds like a V8 maybe, yeah? So when you let off the throttle, it's got that lovely backfire, you hear that? Brr, brr, oof, nice. So testing out the handling here on the street, just doing a little bit of slalom down this main strip here. I mean, I don't really see how special it is yet, but I'm sure after a bit of modifications and putting the tuned suspension on, this thing is going to rip. So let's start with the useless things. Armor, brakes, fully modified engine, Xenon lights, race transmission, throw on a turbo, Okay, so let's start then with the bumpers in the front bumper. What do we have over here? Ooh, again, some crazy options, huh? Jeez, this looks like a Transformers logo here in the front or something like that. My goodness, I don't really like any of these. I might just have to keep it stock. And then is it the same situation with the rear? Again, a lot of crazy looking options. Ooh, that looks nice for a race car. I think I'm going to have to keep it stock as well. All of these things are just a little there. So for a lot of money, we'll throw on the carbon intake on the V8 motor. And I've never actually looked into all these new strut braces. They're actually some really cool ones. Functioning ones as well. Yeah, I'll do this one. This looks pretty interesting. So again, some whack exhaust options over here. Like, check out this titanium box exhaust. Oh my goodness, that is hideous. These oval ones look pretty hardcore though. Whew, guys, you can really make this car look ugly if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm going to keep it stock as well. Then the crazy headlight covers. No thanks. So I found a smoothed out hood. Let's actually do that. That looks flipping nice. And maybe we won't go full race car with this one, and let's just do a little bit with a street half cage. You can still put your passengers inside if you wanted to. So I looked through all the liveries, and nothing that's really catching my eye either. So yeah, guys, this car is kind of disappointing. I thought we could really turn it into a track monster, but all the modifications are kind of a bit on the questionable side, if you ask me. So this build has become like an OEM Plus little thing here. I like the Saxon blue. I don't think I've used this color in a long time. And then for good measure, I put a racing blue pearlescent in it. So instead of the stock splitter, we can just put this carbon stock splitter. There we go. Let's add another $10,000 to your monthly payment probably. And then do we have any cool looking spoilers, man? Jeez, I feel like I haven't modified this car at all. I think this carbon lid low spoiler. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hot. 
And again, the most difficult thing in the world, finding a pair of wheels that actually looks good with the damn car. I like these synthetic Zs. I think they're almost identical to the standard wheels of the real car. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is it. Let's take this thing to the track and see what lap time we can get. Hopefully, hopefully my boy wasn't lying and I can smash my previous Supra MK5 lap time. So I started the time trial and like always, first lap will just be for practice. We can get used to the car. Oh man, it, once it gets up there, it seems to go real fast. Turning radius doesn't seem as sharp as I would have liked it to be. But it looks like you can induce a little bit of oversteer and then you can get it to turn in a bit harder. So that helps. Alright guys, here it is. Here it comes. Am I going to smash the Supra MK5 lap time? Let's see what we can do. Now I'm liking this car, I like the handling, it's very predictable, very responsive. It looks like I didn't really have any oversteer problems. It could steer in a bit tighter. Alright, here comes the hairpins, let's see what I can do here. Come on, turn in, turn in, turn in. On the power. And then here comes the long left-hander. Whoop, don't attack too hard now. Alright, I think it's the penultimate corner here. Ooh, came in super hard there, but it kind of helped me. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Whew! 58.35, alright. Well, little Terminator, you were correct. This thing does handle well. So just for the lols, I put on the low grip tires just to see if this car can drift. Now, I haven't heard anything about this car being like a drift monster or anything like that, but I thought, you know, why not? Let's just do it for fun. So even with the low grip tires, I'm finding it very difficult to do the mid-drive speed boost in this car. So the mid-drive speed boost is definitely not a thing, so it might be difficult to drift at speed, but I'm pretty sure that this will be a little Jim Corner monster, like if you just keep the speed low like this, you know, and just... So with that, it's pretty fun. But, oh man, why would it just like... Where's my power? Where's my power? Come on, come on, there we go. Power, 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 where is it? So yeah, that kind of sucks, but I guess if you just throw it in, you can get some cool skids like I'm doing right now, kind of. And then just use that power to just power out. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I guess this is... Ah, whoop, I spoke too soon. Well, I guess what was I expecting, right? You can't have a car that handles well and drifts well. That would be a bit too much, right? Well, guys, on that note, I sincerely hope that you enjoyed the video. Remember to take a look down below if you guys have Discord. Join the Discord, it'll be fun to chat. If you have any questions about the game or any sort of unlocks and all that type of stuff, my homies know what's going on more than better than what I do, actually. And this was a pretty cool drift, but... I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!